welcome in welcome in everybody come on in here and talk to me for just a minute how are y'all doing i hope you're doing well so i want to start off by saying that um i have missed you all and i am so grateful and so excited to be in a different stage of life now than what i've been for the last few years um and a lot of you i've still received so much love and so much support and a lot of you have been asking when are you coming back when are you gonna post again when are you gonna start back doing your videos um and y'all just bear with me because i have some amazing things in the work but right now i just wanted to share some news with you all so uh most of you started or really all of you started with me while i was in the season of queendom peak and um one of the great things that god has done for me especially here recently is just provide more direction about where this ministry is headed um and just my purpose and my assignment and i am extremely excited about that and so i wanted to share with you all that queendom peak has transitioned over into breathable faith with amanda and i'm so excited about it because there's so much um that is in the works that is in development and that i am excited to share with you all but i can't give it all to you right now but just know that um I have been working very hard to really come back to you all in a better place, really come back to you all um, ready to serve and really make an impact because here's the thing, this channel started for me um, as a way to build my own faith, right? As a way to renew my own mind. And I wanted to share that with other people because I've been saved since I was nine years old, but I did not have my own personal, intimate, thriving relationship with God. Like I knew who God was, I was saved. I knew what sin was. I, I knew what repentance was. I knew all of those things. Um, and I knew I was going to heaven. Like I know that I'm going to heaven, but as far as me having had an intimate experience with Christ, um, an intimate walk with him and a real revelation of who I was in him, I did not have that for so long, for so much of my life. And when I started this channel, I was in the process of learning it. I had gone through some very traumatic things at that time. And God knows I've gone through some very traumatic things in my childhood. And so it was just a culmination of me really getting to know who I was in Christ and who God was to me and in my life. And so that is something I'm so passionate about sharing with you guys, about sharing with anybody who will listen. Um, and so breathable faith with Amanda, while this ministry is open to anybody, right? Everybody's welcome. My focus is specifically on women. I feel like the attack on women right now, especially in this generation, is so great. And I think that's because of the call on our lives and what we are meant to be. And I believe that the enemy wants to take us out because if he takes us out, everything else is affected. Just like the call that God has put on the life of men. There are reasons that the enemy is attacking men because there are roles and there are things that they are, are in authority over. And if they're not in position, those things won't move. And it's the same thing with women. If we're not in position and we don't know who we are in Christ and we don't know how to overcome all these different things that the enemy is throwing at us and these different attacks on us, then whatever is connected to us is not moving whoever is connected to us is not receiving what they need to receive and so my mission with this um this ministry this channel and everything that's coming um and that is in the works is to really edify you to encourage you to empower you to exhort you um to see you walk in victory and to walk that out with you ladies so um again we are transitioned over into breathable faith with amanda and i've got some things in the work i do have something i really want to share with you all um and i will tell more of this story in this test testimony later y'all know i love a good testimony so stay tuned because i got you i'm gonna talk all about it with you but right now i want to share with you um one of my latest ventures and, and um, assignments has really been to help people overcome anxiety because I am somebody who has struggled with anxiety so greatly and, and still do. I want to also say that 
anxiety does not disappear. Fear, worry, anxiety, the devil is going to be throwing that at us for the rest of our lives. Intrusive thoughts, spiraling thoughts, those things are always going to be coming at us because that's his favorite attack on us is here in our mind because if he can get our mind, he's got everything else, right? But we can overcome them. We can combat that. We can, when it comes against us, we can choose to say, no, I have power and authority over that. So it is just a continual, intentional, daily walk to overcome these things in our lives, right? Jesus said, take heart because even though you might have trouble in this life, I've already overcome it. So he didn't say, hey, y'all ain't gonna have no problems. You'll never, ever worry. You'll never, ever be afraid. You'll never, ever battle anxiety. He said, but take heart when you do because I'll already overcome it. And so what he means is that because I've overcome it, because he's overcome it, we have overcome it because we are redeemed in Christ. That means we belong to him. God says, before I formed you in the womb, I knew you. I had already called you by name. I know the plan I have for your life and I have called you my own. I have redeemed you. That means he has taken us back from the enemy. He, we are no longer slaves of sin. We are no longer captive and in bondage to our thoughts and to sin and to all of these things that come against us, right? So as you guys see, this is what I love. Um, this is what I was created to do. And I'm so excited to be able to do that with you all. So back on to what I was talking about. I have put together a free five-step guide to combating anxiety um, through your faith. Because I over the last four years, I have I, I did get my bachelor's degree in psychology, and I will be moving forward soon into my master's because I really want to be a licensed professional counselor. I want to understand the science behind um, our mind and the way we think, but I also want to be able to mesh that with our faith, right, and with God, what God says about our mind because there are so many counselors and therapists out there. But I know when I was looking for a therapist and a counselor, I wanted one who um, had a relationship with God and could give me perspective on how to overcome these challenges um, and mental health uh, difficulties and challenges through my faith as well. Because I know the science behind the brain. I studied it. I got a degree in it, right? But I want, I needed help overcoming some things that I was dealing with in order to be able to know how to overcome it through my faith. Because... Somebody can give you scriptures all day long, but if they're not telling you how to actively apply those scriptures, why those scriptures apply, why those scriptures are true, and why those scriptures matter, then you're not going to understand how to apply it, right? So this is what I'm giving in the guide that I've created. It is, again, it's free. It's a digital download. Um, you, If you have an iPad or a phone, you can download it on there and you can swipe through and read it. Um, or it is a PDF file. You can print it. If you're somebody who just likes to go and be old school and have your uh, print out and be able to flip through it, you're more than welcome to do that as well. And there are additional resources. And I have so many other things in the work, but this is the one I really wanted to share right now. Again, it is free. Um, and I'm passionate about sharing this because I really want to impart what God has taught me, how far he's brought me, what he's helped me overcome, and what he still continues to help me overcome in my daily life every day. So I'm going to post the link uh, for you all to go and um, visit my site and be able to download this five-step guide to combating anxiety through faith. And then as more uh, resources come available, which I will be doing that, I'll have so many other things in the work. Um, I really want to be able to put together um, some courses, some challenges and things like that to be able to really help us move forward, help us grow, and help us really walk in a victorious life. Um, I will notify you guys and I'll let you know as those come available. Also head on over to Instagram and join me there. I will also post my Instagram um, in the comments or, or in the, the description. Y'all just look through both of them and see where you find it. Uh, but you can head on over to my Instagram I did create a new page specifically for this ministry. So you can hand on over to Instagram at uh, breathable faith underscore with Amanda and follow me, engage with me there. Um, I'm so excited to just be connected with you guys and to continue this journey together. So I love you all and I will see you later. And until then, please know 
that you are powerful. You do have power and authority over your mind and you already have victory. You just got to walk in it. I love you guys.